What is a final boss amiibo, you may ask? Well, let me answer that for you, seeing as how I invented the term final boss amiibo. <laughs> But in order to fully understand what a final boss amiibo is, first I must briefly explain what a raid boss amiibo is. I mean, most of us know what they are, but hey, gonna go over it anyway. Raid boss amiibos are amiibo that are given spirits and then trained all the way up to level 50. Yes, that is the proper way to do it. Feed the spirits and then train them to level 50, because if you do it backwards, you're essentially undoing all the all the work that you did. So if you wanna like train them to level 50, and then give them support spirits, well, all that work that you just made them learn, well, you can pretty much say goodbye, flush it down the toilet. It, it was all for nothing. You just wasted the last couple hours of training for nothing. Congratulations. Once they are fully trained and ready to go, you then gently shove that raid boss into an arena and have human challengers take on that raid boss to see who can defeat it, right? Fight me. So a few spirits, though, are frowned upon for raid bosses. A couple like Super Armor, Armor Knight, Great Auto Heal, and there are a few others. But don't worry, we'll touch on that in just a little bit, you'll see. So since raid bosses are literally defined as a boss that is extremely difficult in comparison to other bosses, since the only other real bosses we have in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate are from, what, World of Light? Hey, yeah, some of those can be challenging, but uh, you want to throw on some really weird spirit sets and make somebody extremely overpowered? Let's go. Uh, like, yeah, they're gonna be more. They're gonna be way more difficult. So anyway, since raid bosses are meant. By the way, here's a fun fact: raid bosses are meant to be fought numerous times. Hence the term raid boss, because you can keep coming back to it. Although people like Alpha Rad, Choctopus, and a few other bigger Smash tubers only allow you one attempt per person, which kind of defeats the purpose of the raid boss term. But okay, you do you. <laughs> I never understood that. Like, hey, come face the raid boss, but you only get one attempt. What? That's not a raid boss. Learn your terms. Anyway, I allow, for, like personally, myself, I allow multiple attempts to stay true to what a raid boss is meant to be. So with that out of the way, I can finally elaborate on what a final boss amiibo is. So, well, here, by definition, it's the last boss of the game. Usually the most difficult boss. It's essentially still a raid boss, but with the broken spirits. Remember the ones I was mentioning just a couple seconds ago? Super Armor, Armor Knight, Great Auto Heal, Regular Auto Heal, Slow Super Armor, even Insta Drop. Maybe a couple more to come in the future, you never know. <laughs> spirits are so fun to play with. But those spirits specifically are what final bosses will have. So raid bosses are meant to be challenging and really have people come out and have fun with it. If you really want to torture yourself a little bit, you will take on, if you really want to challenge yourself, I should say, you will come face a final boss. The ones with the, you know they will have these broken spirits. You know you're going to have a difficult time, okay? That's the point of this whole thing. They're not meant to be defeated super easily. Now, final bosses are meant to put a hurt on you. That's the purpose of them. So that's what separates them. But there's even more than separates than just the spirits, right? So what else? What about the spirit stats? All right. So most most people will say a split split stat is the best way to go. You know, you want to be balanced. You want to have 2100 attack, 2100 defense, or keep it somewhat relatively close to you know those numbers, right? Well, for final bosses, they will only have one type, one way to go with these stats. They're pretty much going to be geared towards 85 to maybe even 100% all attack or all defense. It's very easy to do for defense. Defense has like that hidden ability capsule thing. It's like a primary spirit and it pretty much gives you negative 400 attack and 4,600 defense. So that's pretty fun right there, right? Max defense. You can have some insanely tanky setups with that. They're fun, by the way. I've, I've done one before. Very fun. But you can do it with attack as well. Um, I'm not sure how high you can get an attack. I Somebody's told me they've gotten over 4,000. I didn't see screenshots, but hopefully right now on screen I'm showing you my violent Ken. I've got him. What is, I actually, I don't have the screen in front of me because I'm just recording the script right now. But on screen it should be violent Ken, and he's got, what, like 3,900, I think? So you can keep going. You can get pretty dang close to maxed out attack. So... That's what they're, that's the whole difference. Final bosses will only have the broken spirits. 
and heavily geared towards either max attack or very near max attack slash defense. So that's what's going to separate them, right? If you think raid bosses were tough, some of them have been, right? Not hard DK says hello. But if you think some of those have been difficult, wait until you see final bosses. You guys are in for a treat. These are not going to be weekly things. These are special occasions. I'll drop them randomly. Maybe I'll let people know. Maybe I just make a random uh, arena. I don't know. It just whenever the whim strikes me, I'm going to do it. So I got a few. I've already done one. And uh, you might see them a little bit later in this video. But in terms of now, no. You're not going to see them a little bit later. You will see them a little bit later. I promise. Probably in the next minute or two. I'll probably try to fight them for some reason. I don't know why. I'm going to lose horribly. Time for me to get my ass whooped. Let's just put it that way. I already showed you one of this final boss's spirits. He does have Armor Knight. What is in that third slot? Why would I tell you that? That's got to be a secret. It's got to be a secret. I'm not going to just give away what every single spirit slot is for these final bosses. Nah, there's still some mystery to it. You know he's got Armor Knight. You know he's incredibly powerful. Okay? But guess what? I'm still going to lose horribly. <laughs> so, I'm just here to demonstrate. Like, I had a video earlier this week that demonstrated this. He literally didn't even... Uh, he lost... No, he didn't lose at all. He lost zero amount of times. Only one person... I think I had, what, eight? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, hold on. I think... <laughs> that launching power is ridiculous. But uh, I believe... I had uh, seven or eight different people, I want to say. Only one person was able to... I faced the wrong way. Nicely done. No, dodge that. Ugh. But only seven or eight different people. Really? He perfect shields that. He perfect shields that. But I only had seven or eight different people face him. Only one person even got a stock off him. There's a couple of people that came close. But uh, these, guys, uh, these guys mean business. These guys mean business. Butter. Okay, I should have had that. I should have had that. But no, like I was saying earlier, raid, raid bosses, I do those every every Saturday. Every Saturday. Final bosses, they're going to be different. They're they're different for... Get down there! Oh, I got a stock. I got a stock off a final boss. I got a stock off a final boss. That means I'm pretty much better than everyone. Except for that one guy in the video. Oh, mm. <laughs> did I just air dodge into that? There was that one dude in the video. I don't know if he watched it or not. I, t I told people what the channel name was. Uh, so, I, I don't know. Nobody commented, at least. But there was one dude. His name was literally better than you. And he was the only one that actually got a stock. So, maybe he is better than everybody else. Maybe that's just a thing. Oh, my God. No, get up and... I was trying to hit the... Really? Really? I would have hit that. You know I should have had that. And then blunderbuss breaks. Belly... Okay. <laughs> what do I even do in that situation? What do I even do in that situation? Yeah, I've had some pretty good raid bosses in the past. But uh, once these final bosses start creeping out there... Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, you, you guys are kind of in for a treat. Uh, by the way, I, I don't think I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but raid bosses, they're meant to be fought multiple times. Final boss, it is the final boss of a game. That's what they're meant to be. Final bosses, you only get one chance to do whatever you can to them. That, that's how that works, okay? So, there you go. Everybody in the video from earlier in the week only had one shot. I just had one chance. I actually got a stock, so that's pretty cool. Then again, I was K. Rule, and K. Rule does have some pretty good launching power, but uh, that is it. I hopefully explained well enough on what a final bosses compared to a raid boss again these are going to be kind of sprinkled in here and there um they're they're meant to be more of a special occasion but uh yeah these should be fun nonetheless anyway that is it for this one hope you guys enjoyed and i guess i'll see you when i'm looking at you